Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the best Cypher camera spots and setups for Haven. But before this video starts, if you are part of the 90% of people watching this video who aren't subscribed and you want to see more Valorant guides like this, then I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. So starting off with cameras here on a site, most of the cameras that I really like for a site, you have to stand on this window ledge to be able to place. So the first one is a pretty common spot, but it's still not bad and it's right along this black pillar here. Allows you to see anyone going towards the orb at long or pushing onto site from long, and it gives you a pretty good overall view of the site. And it's decently high up, but this is a more common spot that people use, so this spot gets shot out quite often. But from the same window, what you can do is actually slowly walk along the right side of the window here. So you wanna jump on the edge, hold shift and walk. I just find it to be easier. And you can walk to about this spot. And once you walk out as far as possible, so about here, you can place the camera along the corner of these light tiles right here. And I personally find this to be one of the best, if not the best camera spot for this site because it's incredibly high up. It gives you good view of the entire site. You'll be able to see if anyone pushes onto the site from long or short. You'll be able to see if they go under heaven. And if someone is just running up long, they're clearing these angles, they aren't gonna be looking all the way up here to try and shoot this camera out unless you're tagging them with it. As you can see at this angle, the camera is barely on the screen. And anyone who's running up short, once again, there's basically no chance that they're going to go like this and look all the way above them to shoot out the camera. Another spot from this same window ledge that's not bad for holding sight is right here along this patch of flowers and leaves. The camera is super hard to see at the spot and the vision isn't great. This is a spot you might want to consider just if you're playing super safe on site and your other cameras keep getting broken out a lot. So if you want a camera spot that allows you to see the cross at long from the attacker spawn, what you can do is jump out of the window here onto the box. If you're standing on the edge of the box like this, you can place a camera along the roof right here and you can see if anyone crosses to go short or if anyone is pushing out long. Now this camera is obviously very visible so it'll get broken, but it will give you that early information that you need to see if you are getting rushed. So for the next camera spot to see the cross at long, you need to wait for the buy barrier to go down and you can just place a camera along this pot here and you have a pretty small angle to see anyone crossing into short or anyone pushing down long. This camera is just a little bit harder to see and it's less open than the other one on the roof. So if you're going for information for the cross or for a rush, then I would do a camera like this. As far as tripwires go for a site, they are pretty basic. You're going to want them at the entrances of the site to try and get whatever information you can. A good spot for long here is right along this wall, connecting to this box and the corner of the wall over there. Not a bad one for long. This is the one that a lot of people use for short. However, I don't really like this one. It gets shot out really often. And even if you know it's getting shot out, you're normally never in a position to actually check and try and trade off the tripwire. So I will normally do a spot like this, a little more up short. Because if somebody hits that, it's really easy to just swing and peek it like this or like this. If you're playing really defensive on site, you can also attach some to the site here like this. This is good for if someone is trying to run up and plant. And the same thing over here. You can place a wire here because this is a super common plant spot. Those are more of gimmick wires if your other ones consistently get broken. So personally for trip wire placements, I would recommend this one here at long. And to start, I would place this one. And if it consistently gets broken, I would switch to something like this. So moving on to B site, to be quite honest, I don't think Cypher is good on B at all. But if you are playing Cypher here, you can use this camera spot here along the wall and all you need to do is stand at the edge of the box and you can easily jump place a camera like this. And I like this camera because it allows you to see a little bit of the mid push and all of sight. Another camera that could be good for helping retake the site is right above the door right here. And as long as you're not tagging people, this probably won't get shot out. But once again, lacking early information so you won't know until they're on site if you're getting pushed. And as far as tripwires go, super basic. You're going to want to place them on the site like this to cover both sides of the site. That way, even if you do get pushed, you will know if anyone is trying to make a play for more site control on either side. 
So moving on to C site, gonna start in garage here. And there's not a camera that I would recommend you use in garage. I think that it would be a waste of a camera. Normally you'll have Cypher solo on the actual C site and you'll have a teammate play in garage. So if you have a teammate playing in garage, you can easily place tripwires to help support them and help them hold garage. Something like this right here. So another tripwire spot that I would recommend is either here at the bottom once again, to help your teammate playing window, he can swing on contact of this tripwire. Or if you want to swing from C site yourself in Peak Garage, you can place one more up here like this. So now for the actual site, a decent camera spot that you can use is along these fence posts here. And this one is kind of hard to see because it has the smoke and fire behind it. And it gives you a pretty good view of long and obviously you'll be able to see anyone pushing up from garage as well. So that's not a bad camera. Standing on the same platform here, you can actually do a jump place onto this pole here, and this is probably my favorite camera spot for C site. It gives you okay information at the bottom of long if they are going to the other side, but it's not really about that. It's just a camera that is really high up and gives you a great view of practically the entire site. Once again, if you're not tagging people in the back, this camera will normally survive a long time before being shot out. Another camera spot I like, you can place from on top of the green box here on site. Once you're on top of this green box, all you want to do is aim above the light here along the wall and you can jump place a camera just above the light. And this camera can give you a view of anyone going into long C. You can see anyone in cubby and obviously you can see anyone pushing out from garage. And this is a really great camera to see sight as well. And finally, the last camera spot I have for C site is right here along the wall right above this roof. And this camera is really defensive. It'll give you info of anyone who's deep on site or if they're pushing towards CT. Pretty difficult to find and it's kind of protected underneath from this roof. So it's not easily shot out, but this is basically just a camera you might want to consider using if your other ones get broken out consistently. So now for actual site trip wires, we of course have this one here from garage, but obviously you want to place one here at long as well. Although this is a more common spot, there really isn't too much variance you can have with these wires. There's also a wire that you can place like this. It's more gimmicky, but it might catch them off guard if you've been placing the basic wire the whole time. I normally don't recommend wires like this, but there's really no variance with the wires here on C site. So that's why I think placing a wire like this every so often isn't that bad of an idea. So for one way cages on C site here, there's really only one and it's for the entrance here from garage. And all you want to do is walk into the corner at this box, aim at this dark spot on this roof, just like this and throw your cage. We'll land perfectly on top of the doorway and create a one way. That's really good if you're playing behind site like this. So guys, those were my best Cypher camera spots and setups for Haven. If you want to see more Valorant guides like this, then I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button.